And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Nami Heimer. It's going to be our next one. We haven't tried Nami yet since Nami was nerfed just a tad. Take It takes now eight spell mana to level up Nami instead of seven, but it's still just an incredible card. And we're going to be pairing Nami with Heimerdinger in Piltover and Zaun because Piltover and Zaun gives us some good ways to uh, refill our spell mana, specifically this card, Flash of Brilliance. So we'll be using this to level up our Nami. Um, should be a pretty good little combination there, and that's what we're going to be trying out. Uh, besides that, we'll have Zap Sprayfin, Fleet Admiral Shelly, two cards that are great with Nami, two cards that um, you know are elusive, and one draws you a spell, the other rewards you for playing a whole lot of spells. Obviously, Hybridinger rewards you for playing lots of spells, because then you get a whole lot of turrets. Um, and that's kind of the, the deck. The, the whole rest of the deck is, you know, pretty, you know, pretty self-explanatory, you know, for a Nami deck. Um, Time Trick could be a pretty nice one here early on in the game. You know how, like, whenever you have Nami, your deck is so much better than whenever you don't have Nami in Nami decks? Time Trick can be something, you know, that we can use spell mana for early on in the game and look for Nami. Um, so I'm excited about that one. All right, so let's give it a try. Let's go ahead and play some Nami Heimer. We're going to be playing our five games over in Ranked. Rise with the Surf. <laughs> We're going over to the Lagoon. Rise with the Surf. Okay. I kind of like our hand. You know, we're going to get rid of the Harpoon. But I like the rest of these cards. The problem is, is like these aren't Nami and like our decks are always so much better with Nami. So I'll send it back. But like that flash of brilliance would have been really good to have. Okay, I'm going to turn on the music just a tad in this board. I know this board's a little louder than normal. Music wise. I wish we still had um, that flash of brilliance. So basically, I could pl either play this or double trouble. We could play either one. I'll just go ahead and go with this one. Get this team out of here. That's also two spells for the purple fish. That's kind of nice. Uh, question was: Is this a tree deck? I guess it's possible. It's a vandal tree deck. I'm not exactly sure. I don't know if they're going to be able to kill Nami or not. I hope not. Oh, it's three damage spell. Kill Nami. Because this this would level up Nami here, right? Like, we're, we're going to have level up Nami next round. And so I wanted to, like, be able to untap and, like, round start. You know, be able to have, like, all seven mana here to go along with the leveled up Nami. All part of the job. Down to 11. I mean, I guess maybe I have to play this gem. The reason why I don't want to play the gem is because... I guess we have to play it. Is because then we don't get to have, you know, two spells this round. For Shelly's ability. But because of Flock, Scorched Earth, that kind of stuff, I guess we have to play it. So my plan here has been, like, Burble Fish, Burble Fish, line them up, knock them down. But maybe I should have led with the Mystic Shot on the Kingpin, and then these only cost one mana. We would have had an additional mana. Party. 
Yeah, I should have led with Mystic Shot. I actually want concurrent timelines, but I guess we're gonna get it. I just want to grow these other cards, but if I would have led with the Mystic Shot, it would have made my life a little bit better. Is key. These regions are not too good for one cost spells. So down to five, we have three points of burn with the Aftershock. So I could Harpoon that and shake down, kill like my Gift Giver, and then just give these plus one, plus one each. That's not worth it. I forgot about the concurrent timelines, I did. I didn't think about it. Uh, they only have three cards though. So they don't have very many. I'm surprised they didn't make more of the Daring Poro. Alright, so they're down to one. So this game's been a little messy, but they're down to one. We have this Aftershock. We also got them with the two Puff Caps that will draw right away. Oh. No, not me drawing Puff Caps. <laughs> Wrong way. Wrong person drawing Puff Caps. Lots of Buster Shots. All right, GG's. Nami Heimer is one and oh, we didn't. That's a good win because we didn't even do anything with either champion really. Of course, they never played a champion either. Dragons, no. The bane of the meta game right now. All right, we'll keep time trick that can maybe help find Nami. Well, there's some Namis. Do we want to attack for two early, or do we want to have level or round four leveled up Nami? I think we want to have round four leveled up Nami. Yeah, it's a tough call. It's a tough call whether to play this and like get two points of damage in or not. Unfortunately, the only way to have leveled up Nami is wasting this line him up, knock him down. How soon Demacia forgets? Okay, we get two damage on that thing. Monster 
Monsters with heart are still monsters. Please don't have fight spells. My people are counting on me. I will find the Moonstone. I will save my people. Because ideally now we can play Heimer next round. And start going crazy with both champs. Pass, 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 pass. I know they're here. Yeah. I felt it too. Okay, and it is Heimer, not Shelly that we play, right? Yeah, it's gotta be Heimer, right? Imminently logical. Uh, the tide carry you. Hey, look at that. Made a mind meld anyway. Yes, yes, again. Honestly, maybe I should just be passing here again. Waiting for Shelly. Yeah, I'm doing that so we get the 3-1 blocker in play. Like this. So they had single combat the whole time? Alright, we'll Grillheimer. Oh, I think we need Harpoon, don't we? Man, those are all pretty good options. This is just so, so absurd. Five spells so far. This is just absurd. Harpoon doesn't even kill stuff. Doesn't even kill the Shivana. Keep up, keep up. I don't see how Shivana ever dies. Yeah, I think well, yeah we'll have to miss like, the Dragon Garden. That just it just grows it to eight. So if I miss like, the Dragon Guard, it'll still be at seven instead of eight. It's not really that big of a difference, but if I wait, we can, you know, get other stuff in play first before playing spell. Yeah, the Dragon Guard, the Dragon Guard buff was absurd, and the dragons were already good. Dragon Chow plus Dragon Guard is pretty absurd. What seems to be the problem? Um. Look across the board. And you can probably figure it out pretty quickly. So they open attack, this thing's a 10 8, uh, 12 10. We have some blockers to kind of stay alive. So probably force the strafing strike. What's, what's happening here, like, in this game is we only played the Ruined Dragon Guard with Shivana and, you know, like, with these kind of dragon decks a, a couple of times, but every time that we did, it was just completely absurd. You can see some 
really good records that we've had with Shivana and Ruin Dragon Guard even before the Ruin Dragon Guard buff. Because as you can see, it Shivana's absurd right now. This is ridiculous. It's really hard to play any kind of slow deck right now with dragons being in the metagame. I won't let my home be swallowed by darkness. I mean, what's Shev Shelly and Give It All supposed to do? That just turns them into three power elusives. We need, like, Mind Meld and Give It All together. We need to try to keep surviving. Get a couple of larger elusives in play. There's a couple of elusives in play than Mind Meld. I think my melt's gonna do better for us than give it all. The Star Forge I himself. You rang. I am the Forger of Stars. Have spells to play. We had a lot of spells. No giving up, no matter what. That's just how it is, though. All right, so we're going to uh, have Ezreal Vi. Very glad not to play against dragons. I think I'm gonna send everything back besides Shellshocker. We could keep a Heimer. We're gonna send these two back. Maybe send Shellshocker back also. Actually. It's perfectly fine, but it's not like an aggro matchup like where we need it. You know, it's probably not gonna just have very a very high impact on the game, and so we can uh, in our mulligan process here we can look for cards that could have a high impact on the game. Uh, it's one thing that the, the one cost spells that uh, one thing that they do very well is they do allow us to you know give cards to discard to get excited and that's good. Um, no reason to play Flash of Brilliance before Heimer. I know we're not banking any more spell mana right now but it's okay. Okay, so we do want to kill Ezreal, obviously. And so we have this Get Excited that can kill Ezreal. And it's a good time to do it, right now. But it's just, what do we get rid of? And I kind of guess that we discard Mystic Shot, I guess. It's either that or the Burble Fish. Like, those are the only two cards to discard. We could cast a Flash of Brilliance and see what we get to discard that, but... I don't think we pass here. I think that this this three man is very important for banking purposes. All right, let's let's actually discard Burble Fish over. It's either Burble Fish or Mystic Shot. We'll keep Mystic Shot. We probably don't need that body that Burble Fish provides, considering we're gonna have Heimer provide bodies. And the spell, there's a very good chance that spell isn't any good. All right, something to play. Very good. Something to play. Kawa says that having Heimer as a secondary champion this enables us to still win games if we don't have Nami with good stuff like this, like Heimer, Double Flash of Brilliance. I thought you'd never ask. One shot, all skill. That's gotta hurt. It's okay for us to waste this mana. I don't want to give them an easy, you know, an easy target for leveling up Ezreal. It's okay for us to waste the mana because we want spells for after Heimer and Shelly anyway. Have a good day at work, Nasher. 
Wow, Adaptatron 3000 in our Heimer deck? So I would prefer to pass, right, and get Shelly in play first. We could play like Shelly here. And then, but I just think it's more likely if we play Shelly here, they have like a three damage spell, kill Shelly. And I, I, don't, I wouldn't want to just like use all the Flash of Brilliances after that, so. Um. Huh. I think that's acceptable, I suppose. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hmm. Tough choice. I like that. Get excited to kill the Ezreal, and I also like the Sprayfin. All right, we'll go Sprayfin. Timer art, pretty awesome. Well, then, make them all seven sevens. Sure, why not? We only live once. Might as well, my meld. Might as well, my meld. Wow, it resolved. They didn't just have a whole bunch of spells to, to kill stuff in response. Got an 8-2 barrier. We're gonna go ahead and just send him in. Come on. I guess I should be attacking with Heimer, shouldn't I? Heimer would die, but they, so would they. You're between me and glory. Yeah, I guess I should be sending in Heimer. All right, my bad, my bad. Should have won right here because they couldn't, they didn't have removal spells to stop seven sevens. Yep, my bad, my bad. Yep, should have attacked with Heimer. So we'll see if we lose now. Hopefully not. Surprisingly, they waited till after. Like they could have, like they should have waited. If, if their plan was to play the Mirror Mage anyway, like they didn't have to play this Otter Post last round. They could have played it after Mirror Mage and gotten two Otter Posts. Just getting three two toughs instead of three one fearsomes. I 
thinking that this is gonna kill them. Unless they just, like, randomly created a judgment. But I think we good. Alright, they draw lots of cards. Find some more cards. Alright, cool little game there with um with Heimer Dinger. Got to really show off the power of Heimer. With triple flash of brilliance, Heimer. That's always fun. And that's a two and one. Oh no, Leeson. Where's our mini morphs? Mini morph, where are you? Do we want to try to go aggro? Maybe we try to go aggro? It's hard to beat Lee Sin in the late game. Really hoping they don't have any 2-drop. Hopefully no action. Hopefully no 1-3, um, whatever that's called. Just go ahead and pass to us. I know. I Alright, so I'm not banking that one spell mana right there. That we could. But I, I want to just open attack. Spell mana. Probably save this spell for after Shelly. Oh, what's up, Nami? I fight with You're at five. Not my fist. We can make it six, seven, eight. Or wait, no, we can only make it six, seven. If I don't play anything, we make it eight. But if I play Nami, it's only seven. Yeah, they get the drag lane. That's too bad. May need to just play Sprayfin. Go grab a spell. I told you, I can't actually Get excited, it's a good spell. Breathe in, breathe out. Alright, so the question is, is it worth an open attack or just attack with the elusive? So the elusives put, put them down to eight. If they have, you know, they get their life stealer. We attack with everything. Life steal cancels out like the two one and this other two one. And then they can block this two one, so we do one additional point of damage if we attack with everything. And we have two things die. The two things die isn't that big of a deal because we need things to die. So we do get one additional point of damage across. Assuming no spells cast. The dragon binds us. So they're at 7 instead of 8. And we gain space we needed. Force is meaningless without skill. A pleasure to see you, master. We just want to draw spells, cheap spells. So I'm like line them up. Line them up would be perfect. It's two spells. I guess it takes a board spot though. Yeah, time trick, time trick would be nice. Would have been nice. I guess we do continually get more elusives. Our enemies would be foolish to underestimate you. There we go, flash of brilliance, good. My land need me. Center your spirit. I kind of think I just wait. Wow, destroy a mana gem to draw a champion. Oh, I can't play both Shelly and Nami next round, can I? Good people don't 
look the other way. I am the Tide Caller. I will drive back the darkness. Yeah, maybe I should have just play the two spells with the Shelly and in play. Alright, cool. We will take the win. The elusives were going to finish it out for us. GG's. Misfortune gangplank. Pirate Burn should definitely be a tough matchup for us to try to stay alive against the very aggressive deck. We're going to keep the Shell Shocker for sure. I would like the Harpoon if I know that it costs three mana, the Harpoon can take down, you know, those champions that are going to be hard to kill. But I'm not... I'm not confident it's going to cost three mana. Okay, okay. Reporting in. That's important, having this Shell Shocker round one. You know, like, that's a lot of Nexus health that we're saving here. That Shell Shocker... Coming in pretty clutch. Would really like double trouble. Don't really need another Shelly. I have my orders. No one's the wiser. Double trouble. Huh. Could be worse, I suppose. Oh man. Never mind. It, that's the whole could be worse thing. Draw pretty well in this hand, except for these Shellies. That's about five. Ugh! All these things cost five! So we pass also. Okay, so if we do it like this, then we get a six, a seventh. really did not work out well. Man, these Shellies have been terrible. This is unfortunately the absolute worst Shelly matchup. And we just drew all three. Get excited also pretty bad in this matchup, having to discard a card. So unfortunately, we, we, like we started off well. Like We drew the Shell Shocker, which is really good. We have a Nami, which is really good. But besides that, we have some of our worst cards. I guess Mind Meld would be terrible. No eager apprentice for playing Shell Shocker instead. Shell Shocker just cost one mana, and, and that was uh, pretty important with surviving something earlier. Uh, this is me getting blown out by Make It Rain. Probably shouldn't get blown out by Make It Rain, so we'll block like this instead. The whole fallen feline go grab Hexite Crystal party trick's pretty cool. Okay, that's that's awesome for us. That Nami wasn't really doing anything. That's, you know, three damage. It's not going to my Nexus. We get a full Shelly still. And these Burble Fish haven't been that good either. I guess it's Heimer. So I'm trying to decide which one of these two five drops I want to play. And I guess it's Heimer. Heimer blocks better. Yeah, it seems like we could have a little bit more card draw in here. We do run out of cards pretty fast. Removal spells. Okay. Look 
looking at the list, we have a lot of good stuff for this matchup. It's just, unfortunately, we drew, you know, three Shellys and a Heimer, and that, that'll do you in, you know, like these. I, this deck's awesome, this Fortune Gangplank. It's definitely an underplay deck, and it, it will punish you for sure for having these kind of draws. The deck's good. And you just get stuck with four or five drops in hand, and you're going to lose. That's how it is. But there we go. All right, so realistically, um, so there's a lot to like about this list. I think that Flash of Brilliance plus Nami is really cool. There's a lot to like there, you know, and then, and you know, you have like some good top end here too. Uh, the Shell Shockers are really good. Realistically, we could use a little bit more of this early removal and or a little bit more card draw and Mind Meld. Cabo likes throwing in a, a, a spicy one of that's like, you know, really cute, but isn't actually any good. And that was the, uh, you know, that was like the, the shell game last time. That's kind of the mind meld here. Now we did like win kind of because of mind meld, but in that matchup that as we saw here, we were going to be winning anyway. When we have like these flash of brilliances, you can just rely on flash of brilliance to create like your random spell that's like uh, super powerful and stuff like that. So you don't actually have to play like a mind meld. Uh, when you have cards like Flash of Brilliance. But what we do need is just more, like, spells and more more ways to get spells. Like, we we frequently had expensive Burble Fishes. We didn't have spells to play after Nami or Shelly. That was all a problem. And so I would, I would definitely look for cards that could be multiple spells early. And so, so something, and, you know you know, interaction early, but then also a whole lot of spells. So something like Ebb and Flow. It's not perfect, no, but it could be, you know, multiple spells early, or it could just be, like, a lot of spells for your uh, Heimer and um, Nami and stuff like that. So maybe, like, an Ebb and Flow. Maybe get that third line up in here. Like, line up's always a good one to have, and that is that is two spells. And, you know, it, it helps, like, with your level ups and, and uh, stuff like that. So I would I would probably just play the third line up. I think that's that's where I would go there. I would consider Ebb and Flow over Make It Rain, but I'd definitely get that third line up in here because you you need those two spells. I just kind of want some more card draw in here though. You know, like we were we did not have enough cards a lot of those games, um, so maybe some salvages. That's for that that could be salvage I suppose. Yeah, the line up will will help out. That's for sure, because you, you need that kind of stuff early. Anyway, I don't want to be too negative about the deck. You know, like, we were 3 and 2 in ranked, and we only lost to, you know, a really good Pirate Burn hand, which that, you know, those kind of, you know, it, that kind of aggro deck that has a really good hand is going to be tough for this kind of deck to stop. So no, no real shame in losing that game. And then we lost to a ridiculous Shivana hand. Again, no shame in losing to that card either right now for how powerful they buffed up the Dragons. Um, so both, you know, winning every single other game, definitely a good sign. And uh, the, the two games that we lost, you know, no, no shame in losing either one. So again, a good winning record. All right, but that's, so that's another exciting version of a Nami deck. Nami plus Flash of Brilliance looks pretty cool. And obviously Heimer plus Flash of Brilliance is cool as well. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And as always, feel free to leave those comments and let me know what you think of the deck. Hopefully y'all enjoyed seeing something a little different with Nami. Um, but that's going to be it for Nami Heimer. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you for the next video.